doesn't know that out of those appointments, Joe Aguirre, a cousin of Raila, has been appointed ambassador. Ogego Odinga, cousin of Raila, has been appointed. Dr. Wenwa Odinga, a sister of Raila, has been appointed. Kathleen Openda, who was working in the uh, uh, information uh, desk of Rail Odinka has been appointed. The other co-principals have gotten nothing, if it is on the basis of community. In fact, Wetangula and I and Mudabadi, we have reason to thank President Uhuru because he has appointed one of us, Espisu, from Bihika County to, to go to the most powerful uh, mission uh, in this country, and that is the UK. So we are getting nothing. Raila is using NASA to further his family and uh, tribal interests. How do we support him for that? And yet, one of the biggest pranks we, on which we have been fighting uh, Jubilee was lack of inclusivity. Speaking about Jubilee and Mudavari, those are two things you've mentioned. Uh, we're getting reports that uh, Fort Kenya might get into a deal with the ANC and later on, from the words of uh, Sports Cabinet Secretary Rashid Echesa, work with Jubilee. How true is that? Are you in a deal with the ANC and then m moving forward, maybe in 2022, is there a possibility that you might work with, with, with Jubilee? I know for a fact that uh, ANC and Fort Kenya are working on a merger. But after we conclude that exercise, who we work with might not be limited to only WIPA with whom we are, we've been in NASA. We have opened ourselves, and if the opportunity presents itself for us to talk to and eventually work with Jubilee, there is absolutely nothing wrong because the history of this country is that at every general election, new configurations are usually grafted. Okay, that is an interesting comment there coming from Boni Khanulwale. And uh, one final question perhaps. Do you agree with John Barry that some of the members of parliament, especially from Fort Kenya, should you know go back to the people and seek fresh mandate if they feel like NASA is already on its death band, if NASA is a moribund organization, as Wetangula has rightfully mentioned? I think John Bud is just uh, confirming the degree of ignorance that he has under which a member of parliament is expected to go back to the electorate to seek fresh mandate. It is only a decision of the High Court and probably the Court of Appeal and thereafter the Supreme Court that can order a member of parliament to go back for election and not some functionary in a, in a dog-eared constituency called Mbita. Thank you very much, Senator Bonikalole, for your input there. So the main question is, is NASA dead or alive? The difference of opinion between two NASA co 